And I think abortion should be unrestrictive. For some people, that is full term. Wisconsin Republicans introduce a bill to ban abortions at 14 weeks of pregnancy. Before it becomes law, voters would need to approve it in a statewide referendum. On Monday, an assembly committee will have a hearing on the abortion ban and referendum the same day the vice president comes to Battleground, Wisconsin. Wisconsin Republicans, including Speaker Robin Voss, back a new bill to ban abortions at 14 weeks. It would allow an exception in the case of a medical emergency. There's the extreme of the 1849 law and there's the extreme of abortion until birth. Where do people want to go with this is the real question and putting it on the ballot is the way to get the answer. Her bill calls for an April referendum to approve it. But first, it has to pass both Assembly and the Senate and the governor would also need to sign it. Democrats are critical. This is just another gimmick. I don't think that there's anything to see there. It's not just Democrats who are opposed. It's also groups like Pro-Life Wisconsin and Wisconsin Right to Life. Well, because it's grossly premature to be doing this. The group's reasoning is Wisconsin's abortion laws are in legal limbo. After Roe's reversal, both sides in Wisconsin set a state law from 1849 banned abortion. The question was whether it was still enforceable or had been superseded by the state's later post-Roe laws. A Dane County judge ruled the old law didn't, in fact, apply to abortion, but feticide. Sheboygan County District Attorney Joel Armansky is appealing that judge's ruling. For now, the ruling leaves in place a post row Wisconsin law that bans abortions after 20 weeks of pregnancy. This is a move in the right direction. Currently, we're at 20 weeks. This is moving down to 14, so it's, you know, it's saving more lives. I think abortion should be unrestrictive. And... I think when somebody finds out in pregnancy, when or how far along that they are, when someone finds out, they should be able to get an abortion if they want to. And for some people, that is full term. If I can't get abortion training here, if I can't perform abortions in my career, I will not stay in Wisconsin. And a lot of my colleagues who are on the same track agree. All right, thank you. That'll do nothing to help our shortages. I think people should be made aware of what the condition is, whatever the, the current condition is of them or their fetus, and have all of that laid out and be able to make the decision for what they want the next steps to be. Okay. That shouldn't be decided by a law or the general public or anything except themselves. Okay, you know we have, have laws on like what can and can't happen with Blood donations. This is with, about abortion. I, I understand. Excuse me, I'm the one who's asking the questions here. So um, with that being said, I would say there's all sorts of laws regulating medicine and ethics and what you can and, and can't do. So um, I'll just leave it at that and um, hope you get a better understanding of that before someone gives you a good degree. Let's defend this law. This is... The legislature's law, this is your law. The legislature created this in 1849. It's a strong pro-life law. It bans abortion from conception. We're trying to tighten it up. It has good uh, criminal penalties. Um, it does exculpate the mother. Um, this is what we should be strongly defending. And again, I'll, I'll say that um, putting this bill forward um, does signal that the legislature's doubts about its lawfulness. And I don't think that's a good message to send. I think all of us should be standing strong um, to defend this law and um, await the Supreme Court's ultimate decision. And as President Biden tries to make the national conversation more about reproductive rights, abortion, how many weeks into a pregnancy does he think abortion should still be legal? So you've asked me this question before. I've been very clear. The president's been very clear. We want to see the protections in Roe. We want to see Roe become the law of the land. That's what the president wants to see. That's what the president believes in. And let me be very clear here. It's not some sort of shift that the president is making. I'm prepared to accept that the moment of conception is human life and being. In 1974, he said, I don't like the Supreme Court decision on abortion. I think it went too far. I think it's always 
always a tragedy. And I think that uh, it should be uh, rare and safe. And I think we should be focusing on how to limit the number of abortions. On no fewer than 50 occasions, he'd voted against federal funding for abortions. The quote inside the April 7th, 1994 letter reads, those of us who are opposed to abortions should not be compelled to pay for them. I don't support public finance, public funding, I don't, because that flips the burden. That's then telling me. I have to accept a different view. This is a guy who on the Judiciary Committee in 1982 voted by, for an amendment from Orrin Hatch that would allow states to ban abortion. Abortion is always wrong. And this is from 1986, where he tells the Catholic Diocese newspaper that abortion is, quote, wrong from the moment of conception, and he praised pro-life groups for trying to push back the frontier on when abortion is legal. I'm prepared as a matter of faith to accept that life begins at the moment of conception. Unborn babies have any rights then? I'm not going to get into that specific. I'm not going to get into that question. I've been very, very clear about this, where majority of Americans stand, uh, and that's what matters. But the president wants to see Roe become the law of the land, and that's what he's going to continue to ask uh, Congress to do. I think we should be focusing on how to limit the number of abortions.